Okay, I'm just saving the long explanation. Sorry for about the uh, video setup. This is the best I can do tonight. Um, find all solutions in the equation f of x equals 57. So we're going to let 57 equal uh, this multi-part function, this piecewise function. So I can test it. Does 57 equal 2x plus 19? Well, yeah, it does for some value of x. So we're going to subtract 19 from both sides. 57 minus 19 is, what is that, 38? equals 2x, that would mean that 19 would have to equal x. But that's out of bounds, because to use this rule, your x has to be less than or equal to 0. So what about 57 equaling x squared? Perhaps 57 equals x squared. Well, if I square root both sides, I have the square root of 57 equals x. And I have no idea what that is, but it's less than the square root of 64, which is 8, and more than the square root of 49, which is 7. So it's 7 point something. And that's out of bounds, because x would have to be in between 0 and 5. So maybe 57 is 3x minus 6. If 57 equals 3x minus 6, and I add the 6 across, that's 63 equals 3x, and then 21 equals x. And that's in bounds. So find all the solutions to the equation f of x equals 57. The only time we're going to get a value of 57 is when our x value is 21. That's our only solution. And when the x value is 21, I'm directed to use this rule. I'm going to do 21 times 3. 21 times 3 is 63. And 63 minus 6 is 57. Part two, it says here's the graph of, our number two, here's the graph of the function g of x. The graph consists of two line segments and a quarter circle arc. Write the multi-part rule for g of x. Okay, so I have g of x. And between negative one and two for my x values, I need to find the slope of this line. 1.5 minus zero is 1.5. Two minus negative one is uh, three. And 1.5 divided by three is the same thing as, if I multiply this with 2 over 2, of course I'd get 3 over 6, which is 1 half, duh. So my slope is 1 half, <clears throat> and I don't know this y-intercept, so I'll use the point-slope form of the line, y minus 0 equals 1 half times x minus a negative 1, which would be x plus 1. So y equals 1 half x plus 1 half. So I have 1 half x plus 1 half, if I use an x value from negative 1 to 2. Now, if my x value goes from 2 to 3, then I want the y value to just be 1.5, so it's that constant function. And then if the x value goes from 3 to 4, then I want the bottom part of a circle, or 3 to 4.5, sorry. I want the bottom part of the circle, so I want the square root, the negative y values, and my radius here, if that's the center of the circle, that's 4.5, that measures over 3. It's a 1.5 radius, from 3 to 4.5 is 1.5. 1.5 squared is, what is that, 6.25? Why is it 2.25? 15 squared is 2.25. 2.25 um, minus x minus h. I need the h and the k for my circle. And my circle's h coordinate is 4.5, so 2.25 minus x minus 4.5 quantity squared plus my k value, and my k value is 1.5. And that's it. I would double check all that on Desmos. That's the first page.